The Weekend Warrior itself uh, really came into fruition back in 2008 during the initial design and staging concepts. But it wasn't really until uh, early in 2012 that we uh, solidified our schedule and began the planning effort. The overpass is over a kilometer long. It's been built for the last three years, but really there's one section of it that could not be built until one final weekend because it was just on a long line of critical path work. Every aspect of this thing was, was assigned to, to, to teams. We've got 110 salaried employees and just under 250 craft employees. There was 820,000 pound girders and we were using a 500 ton hydraulic crane on one side and a 270 ton hydraulic crane on the other side. Our goal was one girder an hour, and I think we we're 40 minutes a girder at the end. So. Uh, it's an amazing accomplishment that's been over five years in the making, trying to piece it together on how we were going to untangle the Cape Horn interchange. We also brought in a demolition subcontractor who's done some high-risk work for us before. Last weekend what we did was we started taking down the South Dogbone Bridge, which is the one that goes over Highway 1. So we took down the south span, which went over a loop ramp that we closed, and then we flipped to the north side and took out the north span. We dropped the spans within three hours each, which we had, you know, uh, about 96 hours in total to do.
Uh, not an easy task by any stretch of the imagination, but the team did an amazing job. They planned it, they executed it, and they did that successfully without any safety incidences, without any quality incidences, and ahead of schedule.